To a health alert now as Utah County begins widespread mosquito spraying. This after several traps show excessive numbers in the southern half of the county. News for Utah's Haley Higgins reports on why there is good reason to be concerned. Last year, seven people came down with the West Nile virus here in Utah County, the highest levels in over a decade. We kind of gear up and get ready and try to get in front of everything. 19 mosquito traps ready with dry ice to lure the insects with CO2. Surveillance traps like these showed several areas with a high level of mosquitoes around Utah County last week. Nine spray trucks will be out at dusk up to four nights beginning this week. They allow us then to get the mosquitoes that are on the wing or on the fly. Um, they're very effective at reducing the mosquito populations. With the Wet Spring Mosquito Abatement District Director Dan Miller thinks it might be another busy season. Not everyone will come down that's bit by a mosquito. Obviously with West Nile, it's a small percentage of it. But you talk to any of those people that have had it, it's a significant risk. 90,000 mosquitoes captured last year were species known to carry West Nile virus found in nearly every test pool in the county. And at home, there are things that you can do, such as wear repellent with DEET and cover up so mosquitoes can't even get to your skin. Reporting in Utah County, Haley Higgins, News 4, Utah. To prevent mosquitoes from breeding in your yard, make sure to drain any standing water.